Hi everyone, just hopping on here again today to talk a little bit more about overcoming fear. And I want to talk a little bit about something that we mentioned in the last session, session two. So if you didn't have a chance to watch that, you might want to go back and look at that. But I want to talk about something I mentioned when I said the devil is opportunistic. I want to explain just a little bit more of what I mean by that. The devil is opportunistic, meaning that he's always looking for opportunities to um, add more stress to our life, more anxiety, more fear, all that type of thing. Any opportunity he gets, he will love to pile a little bit more fear and anxiety in into our bag of things we're already carrying around. So here's what I mean. Um, like the situation we're dealing with in our world right now, COVID-19, people are, are nervous and they're anxious about that, a little scared maybe, and rightly so because it's a very dangerous disease that we're dealing with and, and people are dying. So that is frightening. But the devil looks at a situation like that and he says, what a great time for me to pile some fear and anxiety just more onto their plate. You know, we look at a situation, we might have a friend, maybe you, you got a friend and they're just going through a lot of stuff and you're like, oh my goodness, she has so many things on her plate. She's got, she's stressed over this and she's worried about this and she's got this going on and she's got 15 different projects she's taken care of and all this stuff and I just don't wanna add anything else to her plate. So I'm not gonna ask her about this right now. Well, the devil is just the opposite. When he looks at us and says, oh, she's anxious about this and, and she's got all these projects going on and her mind is stressed because she's dealing with this and she's got this and that, he thinks, this is the perfect time for me to pile some more stuff on her, some fear and anxiety because she might not realize that this is what I'm doing. And so he just piles more stuff on us. And because we are distracted and maybe it is something that naturally creates some stress and anxiety, we don't notice that we're just taking more on than we actually have to. You know, that's what I mentioned in the first session about natural fears versus a spirit of fear. And I'm planning to talk about that the next session. But there are things that naturally we are kind of afraid of COVID-19, for example. We're kind, we're kind of afraid of that, and, and rightly so because it's dangerous. There are other things in, in life that you just have some natural fear about. But what the devil really likes to do is take that and kind of blow it up bigger and make it so much bigger in our mind. And so what happens is the devil's just strapping fear on us. He's just in our backpack. He's just piling fear in there and we don't even realize what's happening. But here's the thing. We don't have to receive that kind of stuff. We don't have to take those things from the devil. We can tell him to go away, leave us alone, take this spirit of fear and get out. I do not receive that into my life. I do not receive anxiety into my life. We don't have to receive that. God has not given us the spirit of fear. That doesn't come from God. So we can, we have the power in Jesus name to tell that to be gone, get out. But the first thing that has to happen is we have to notice it. We have to realize like this is not natural. This fear that I'm feeling, this is more, this is the devil trying to put more on me. And so I'm gonna say no. Absolutely not, devil. Get out and take your fear with you. Get out, take your anxiety with you. Remember, gird up the loins of your mind. Take into captivity those thoughts. Don't let them exalt themselves or make themselves bigger than the things that you know are truth. So you can overcome fear. We do not have to take that fear as our own. You can overcome that. So stand against that fear. We're going to be overcomers. We are not going to live our lives in fear because that is not the will of God for his children. So thank you for watching today and I will see you again soon.